नमस्कार 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 हरे कृष्णा हैप्पी मॉर्निंग हरे कृष्णा हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू यू कृष्णा इज अ पर्सन हु कैन मेक इज हैप्पी एब्सोल्युटली सर देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट सो व्यूअर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वॉक डाउन द जर्नी ऑफ डॉक्टर के जी भक्तवत्सलम इज अ पद्मश्री अवार्डी and he runs one of the hospitals in Coimbatore called KG Hospitals and many people refer to KG as the Apollo of Coimbatore so you will hardly know anyone in Coimbatore that does not know of KG Hospitals they have adjacently KG cinemas i have actually come here 40 <laughs> years ago to watch movies there so it's an honor and privilege to have uh, your acquaintance dr bakta aslam and namaskar namaskar to pee guru sanjay namaskar So, Doctor Bhaktwatsla. Yes, sir. I, I want to uh, ask you, you know, uh, about a little story you told me the other day. That is that you grew up in a small village close to Coimbatore, and you were very young, and uh, something happened to you, and something that your dad did. So, why don't you walk us through that story, sir? Every one of us has a story to tell. but uh, i have a long story to say yes but the story started like this my father his name is k govinda swami naidu actually he was born in a small town called pilamedu near coimbatore it's a small village and because not much of work then he migrated to a place called annur very close to satyamangalam and uh, he had to do some walking for doing his job he worked as a road contractor then he worked as a shop assistant he got married at the age of 32 my mm-hmm. mother's name is rukmani govinda swami rukmani both of them studied only fifth grade mm-hmm. they went to the elementary school beyond that middle school they couldn't go right so when my father wanted to have children he told my wife that we have to pray for a child so getting pregnant is not accidental it is incidental it is not it is intentional yes so nalla kolanda gunam i want a good child apdinu pray pant hare ram hare ram 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 hare hare apdinu ninga you have your family relationship with your wife who knows rama may be born in your yes. family yes. yes so if you say it was just an accident i got an abortion that means it's a sexual activity mm-hmm. so my father was a great devotee of lord muruga so he wanted his second son like muruga 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 and one child is born so muruga 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 then i was born i was born in the year 1943 to be precise april 5th exactly 2 years later when i was a small child 2 year old child i used to be very naughty child i used to get up on top of a compound wall fall down a break glasses tumblers you know so my father was very angry with me what is this fellow Muruga was not so naughty. Only well, Lord Krishna was naughty. <laughs> so we want that fellow to be peaceful. Balu Subramanya, we call it now. So he said, "Be quiet, quiet." And of course, I jumped up and down, and then I had a fever, high fever, 105 degree temperature. I went into the febrile seizure, like that, like that. So my father said, "What is this fellow? He is becoming unconscious." Hey, hey, hey! Badu, badu, badu! The vakta vatsalam they call me badu, badu, badu. I was unconscious for ten minutes. No doctor in a small village. So we in our own community we always say Muruga is the biggest doctor. Yes. Our then Peri doctor. So he said Muruga, 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 Kapata pa Muruga. So he went into the puja room, took that ash, vibhuti, put it on my forehead. Muruga, 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 Muruga. I went down for twenty minutes. I am not opening the eyes, but still said Murga, Murga, Murga. Even a kapathe, even a one doctor can do it. Usually, we pray to God. We always say we put thousand rupees in the undial, or one thanga, one ratha water, yes. a little shave panigra, a tonsil may. This was the usual prayer. But my father was unique. He said, "See, there is no doctor in the village. Similar thing can happen to somebody else in future. Why not I make him a doctor?" He said, "Businessman." So all his children were business. So he wanted me to convert myself into a doctor. So he put that seed in my mind at the age of two. We don't know what exactly two at the age of two. And he went on telling me, "You are going to be a doctor. You are going to be a doctor. Seventh year, eighth year, ninth year, you are going to be a doctor." 
my mother fell into a well accidentally she so sir sir before, before we continue your life story so after he prayed and said that he will make your doctor how quickly did you recover 10 minutes oh my goodness murga 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 amana doctor pandrens vanna 10th minute open my eyes oh my goodness a lot of jubilation and everybody was clapping hands <laughs> murga 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 he shed the tears sir uh, please continue i'm sorry sir I, no problem you see the life continues like that my mother fell into it. we went and admitted her in a government headquarters hospital here kanbatur and she had a broken back and she was paraplegic both the legs were absolutely useless and big doctors were summoned from chennai and you know of course she survived at the end of 8 months she started moving at big toe mm-hmm. and he also said muruga 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 wife rukama op nadakku inna at the end of 9 months she started walking and she lived up to 75 85 years oh my old. goodness and then she had one leg which is paralyzed but she was walking she was a lady who is a task master you know she always will be a task master so for towards my father towards me also so both of them studied only small fifth grade so when i became 11th uh, sslc they call it school secondary school living certificate right they said you should apply for medicine mm. and then i said all right then we went to pre university course in phg arts college then at the, after finishing that i got some nice uh, remarks in those days no neat examination no entrance exam correct correct nothing of that sort so we went to madras we went to madras medical college met the dean and she said you want to be a doctor all right what's your mark mm. said out of 600 530 all right i give you i became a doctor at the end of 5 years then the 5 years then became a doctor she said i what to do next day? practice in annur no build a small kutti nursing home yes 10 bed nursing home come back to annur village somebody told my father what is it mbps la padicha use illa adu mele padikku vai md padikku vekkalama ms padikku vekkalama md ingiradhu adhe medicine thane surgery panuvinga we again went back to medical college i met to one brigadier kasava and he said what is it you want i want to join ms what is your degree sir uh, mbps Uh, rank fifth sir, mm-hmm. you know, Madras University fifth. All right, what do you want to be a general surgeon sir? So general surgeon, I became general surgeon in the year 1968. 69 I went to Government Raipata Hospital. 71 I came to Kaimutu Government Hospital. 72 I went to America Chicago Mount Sinai Hospital. I came back on the order of my father, Taskmaster. He said the other day, what a trip! அப்பா வந்து அஞ்சு வருஷம் இருப்பாங்களே அமெரிக்காவில் இப்போவே ரெண்டு வருஷத்துலேயே வர சொல்லிடாது இன்னும் டாக்டர் பண்ணதே இதுக்காக எங்களுக்கு சேவை பண்ணுறதுக்கு நீ வெள்ளக்காரங்க சேவை பண்ணுறதுக்காக நான் ஒன்று டாக்டர் படிக்க வைக்கிறது ஹலோ சம் ஆஃப் அவர் என்ஆர்ஐ டாக்டர்ஸ் ப்ளீஸ் லிசன் டு இட் யூ ஹவ் பீன் மேட் அஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் பை ஆல் இண்டியா இன்ஸ்டியூட் ஆஃப் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் மெட்ராஸ் மெடிக்கல் காலேஜ் நாட் டு செலக்ட் தோஸ் ட்ரம்ஸ் அண்ட் பிடன்ஸ் ஓகே பைடன் யூ கம் பேக் தெர் ஆர் சம் ராமசாமி கிருஷ்ணசாமி சின்னம்மா பெரியம்மா இன்னும் பேச்சியம்மா வெயிட்டிங் ஃபார் யுவர் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் அம்மா யூ மேட் இனஃப் மணி ஸோ ஃபார் யூ மேட் டென் மில்லியன் ட்வெண்ட்டி மில்லியன் கம் பேக் அண்ட் செட் ஃபார் ஸ்மால் ஷாப் ஹியர் மேக் அவர் கண்ட்ரி ப்ரௌட் டோன்ட் மேக் அமெரிக்கா யூர் பவர்ஃபுல் கண்ட்ரி கம் பேக் அண்ட் ஸ்ட்ரென்த் அண்ட் தி ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மோடி பிகாஸ் வி வாண்ட் டு பி த மோஸ்ட் பவர்ஃபுல் கண்ட்ரி இன் தி வேர்ல்ட் ட்வெண்ட்டி ட்வெண்ட்டி இந்தியா வில் பி தி மோஸ்ட் பவர்ஃபுல் கண்ட்ரி செட் அப்துல் கலாம் இட் இஸ் எட் டு பி மோர் பவர்ஃபுல் பட் டசன் மேட்டர் வி ஆர் ஃபார் ஹெட் ஆஃப் மெனி ஆஃப் தி surrounding nation territory. yes yes come fact to afghanistan pakistan, without a doubt yeah pakistan bangladesh we are we are the best country east and west india is the best east and west indians are the best wherever they are you are there amsterdam australia america arizona they are the best so my advice to people is listen to your father listen to your father who is religious listen to your father when you want to come back i don't have any regrets i came back 48 years ago we started a hospital a small hospital with 10 beds now i'm amazed today i went around the hospital so many patients are getting better yes hundreds of my own family members were treated in the same hospital neurosurgery cardiac surgery hip joint replacement kidney transplantation all corona we treated 5000 patients wow 5000 patients have got about 200 people died as a matter um before i ask the next question i'm uh, proud to be an indian absolutely dr bakhtasalam you you embody something the bharatiyata 
uh, completely in you. You know, manasa vacha. You, 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 it, it flows in your body. I think. I speak. I do. Yes. Yes. No discrepancy. <laughs> so that means I happily sleep in the night. Yes, absolutely. Sir. I get up at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh, so you you are also a believer in Brahma Mukhurtham. Why not? Best best thing happened. Doctor GB is GB because yes, yes. of his meditation during the Brahma Mukhurtham Amrita Vela. Yes. So that's the time God is free. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to put it. <laughs> no appointment. Four o'clock who gets up? So worry if you hundred people get up in India. We say Om Murga Murga Shiva 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 Namah Shiva Om Namah Shiva. Keep quiet. He will talk to you. No. He will give you ideas. Call intuitions. Yes, intuitions absolutely. come from God. Yes, they indeed. are all transcendental. It is not from Bible College. <laughs> right, <laughs> it is very, not from very true. Very true. So I just want viewers' uh, personal experience. Uh, last year, um, I, I first admitted my mom here, uh, and I was really impressed with KGs. The way they provided the medical care, not one extra medicine, not one less. Just right. Make sure that the care is given. And I'm back this year, and I, in fact, uh, that's how I uh, met Dr. Bhaktivedanta in person. Last time I was doing all this sitting in U.S. By the time so I you're, came, you're in America. At that time, yeah, I I live in America. So you you are a non-resident Indian. Uh, actually, I'm worse. I'm a citizen. <laughs> I'm a U.S. citizen, but I'm an OCI now. Uh, so for the last citizen, six okay. yeah, for the last six years I've been doing. Uh, I'm an inventor. In a previous life, I have 50 patents. Uh, right now, 38 active. Uh, those things in 2015 or so, when Modi became prime minister, something happened. Uh, something that we should do. For Attracted you to India, yes. to motherland. Yes. Yeah, America is a land of opportunities. Yes. Yes. If you have an idea, you can make a million dollar, trillion right. dollar also. Right. Right. So, but what happens is, you feel happy when you come to a mother country. Yeah, See, absolutely. America is an air conditioned country. <laughs> The factories are air conditioned. Rooms are air conditioned. Cars are air conditioned. And the girls also look very pretty. Well, well, yeah, well, like that. Pull it down. Alaga, alaga, are crying. But what happened is, packet to bit mommy, Ambuja mommy, alaga, are crying. Nangu pongu di mana. Nangu wait like a mara thala super thali. Amanda papa. So true. A, a lot of the stuff that uh, uh, Dr. Bhaktivedanta said just now, you know, it's all in jest. So uh, those of you who don't understand Tamil, ask your Tamil friend to explain it because this is a very engaging conversation that I'm having with Dr. Bhaktivedanta. He's really busy. I'm I'm not going to make uh, you know pull this thing out. I'm not that. busy. I'm not busy at all. I'm busy man has time for everything. <laughs> the lazy man has no time for anything. <laughs> I'm busy. I think running around for the past one and a half hours. Yes. I've seen a lady from Austria. Hmm. Albany. I'm sorry, Albany. She is. Lady from Albania. Mother 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 Teresa's place. Oh, I see. And the population is one crore. Right. He says, "My God, this India looks so fascinating." And I've never been here. She's forty-seven years old. She's first time coming here to learn meditation. Oh wow! You know, from the Jaggi Vasudev. So right. he never met her. So she ate something, and then she had a food poisoning. She came to our hospital. We treat people as though they are all our relatives. Yes. They are relatives. You know, if some mother is admitted, what will I do? I do it. Yesterday, a judge was here. The Raja, she is a district judge. Mm -hmm. Sir, I came to this hospital for delivering my grandchild. It doesn't look like a hospital. Mm -hmm. So you know, we took one though. We came home and then we took back a baby. Like that, I have a feeling. Yes. Said, that is a feeling that hospital should give. Right. It right. should not be a commercial place. You see. Absolutely, absolutely, sir. Uh, again, again, viewers, I have to give you another personal experience. I came in the morning today, about two hours ago, to set up this appointment. So we met. Uh, on Saturday, we were talking for a bit, and then I said, "I'd like to interview you." He said, "Fine, uh, let's meet on Monday." So 9:30, I'm just coming in, and a couple is having their child blessed by uh, Dr. Bhaktivedanta. And as as they leave, he tells the father, "Listen, she'll do everything, but you have to sing the lullaby, learn all Ilaraja songs." And 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 then he started singing the song too. So the thing again, <laughs> I have to mention here is. Everybody is part of a family. That's the feeling that KG Hospital gives, and and they earn this reputation one brick at a time. Exactly. It is not easy. Exactly, sir. I I tell you, this is because I know many of the people that I work with are from Coimbatore. So the moment they say, you know, oh, just don't think about anything. Go to KG Hospital. They'll take care of you. That is the kind of. Reputation you enjoy. I am saying this not because I am in front of you. I am not doing this to me. No, but this is a huge amount of responsibility on me. Yes. So we have a very good opinion about KG Hospital and the doctors. 
but to continue to make them look in the same direction as a patient, as a yes. relative, I have to talk to them on a daily basis. Yes. The new nurses are joining. I talk to them as though they are my yes. granddaughters. I love yes. you. Kanne, I love you. Kanne, you have come from the Karikudi. You have come from Madurai. Please, my kind of Durma. They say they are my kind of Kumudra. But I am not the son of a man. They are all my relatives. Please take care of the relatives. Papa, Mary, like a father. Yes. So yes. I have to do the brainwashing session on a daily basis. Well, see, this is the Bharati the touch that you bring to the whole thing. That everybody is important. Everyone's life is important, and everyone is just as precious. True. So this this goes a long way because I'm also telling you viewers. Here, there are people from all religions and faith. Everybody is here. I've been here for three, four days now, and I'm kind of, you know, taking it all in. That's one thing that uh, uh, now in this avatar, now I am a scribe, I am a journalist, so I'm looking at all these things, getting the feel of the place. You know, three days ago, two people uh, carried, uh, pulled my mom stretcher to from one place to another. They still remember me. <laughs> I ran into them. They asked me, "How is your mother now?" My God. See, they didn't have to do these things. They don't have to do these things. That personal touch. It doesn't come. It comes because they care about all of us. So, they, so some of these things that impress me. That's why I am mentioning this to you, doctor. Um, For every organization, you need a goal. You need a mission. Yes. See, in a hospital atmosphere, the mission is treat every patient as your own relatives or friends. And my mission statement. It, it reads mission statement. It is not hung at the chairman's floor. We have to read that mission statement. We, we promise. That will make the patient and the relative satisfied at all times. We'll continuously educate ourselves, uh, ourselves, our colleagues, and the community regarding disease prevention of disease, so that they don't get admitted into our hospital. Yes. We we should at, we should achieve international standards through the best of the best equipment. We should be a most safer hospital, a safest hospital, and a quality oriented hospital. So we not only say that, but we see that we get an accreditation from National Board of Accreditation, and today they are undergoing a, a inspection for green operation theatre. That is, operation theatre should not spoil the people who work in the operation theatre outside also. So we have a mission, we have a vision, we have a quality policy which is being implemented verbatim. And uh, also, the turnaround is amazingly quick. Uh, yes, I, I see that. Like I said, it, there's not too much or too little, just right. That that pakuam we can say in Tamil, which is just that getting that sense of what does this particular patient need, and and take care of that. So uh, to that extent, I'm really indebted to you, Doctor Bakhtar. We have a, a system which I think you may be interested to know. We have a Mayo Clinic type of system, nothing to do with Mayo Clinic. Mm. Five doctors get together in a little more complicated patient. Five doctors they join together, spend about twenty minutes, mm. discuss the course of action. They may again meet about the same patient next day. Patients go home better. Yes. We do the best of the best surgery. There is one doctor Arun Kumar, who was born in our hospital forty-two years ago. I see. Proud, and he has become a cardiac surgeon. Yes. He does something unique in India. Instead of a major surgery like this, he makes a small incision, like an yes, endoscopic yes, incision, yes. and does bypass surgery. Yes. What is being done in America in Cleveland Clinic, we do. Right. So there is a picture of uh, Dr. Arun Kumar right outside as you come yes. into the hospital. So you kind of get an idea of what uh, Dr. Bhaktar is. He's a hero. Doing. If I am a hero, he is also a absolutely, hero. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Bhaktar so you started with 10 patients. 10 beds. 10 beds, sorry. 10 beds. Well, 10 patients. <laughs> no, 400 beds. <laughs> Today we have 400 beds here? Yes. Wow. And, and every year we do 5,000 operations. Oh, wow. And out of 5,000 operations, we do approximately 200 operations and bypass surgery, heart surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and there's a personal touch even when the doctor is talking to the patient. For instance, uh, one of the senior doctors here uh, was uh, my mom came in as an outpatient. She yes. thought she'll get treated for uh, something and then she's going to leave uh, in the afternoon. So we are sitting there. Uh, the worst has passed, and they know what the problem is, and sort of they are doing some macro level tests. And then uh, we, we were checking that there could be some problem with her heart, and turned out to be it's not nothing new. And uh, so, so the doctor comes and she asks. Uh, can I go home today? He says, you know, Lakshmi has come to us on Friday. We are not letting you go to my <laughs> <laughs> So that, that feels good. And uh, I mean, the, the, this is the 
that that thing that you mentioned, that touch, that personal touch, that this is my family. I should take good care of them. That sure. goes a long way. That's why you have this word of mouth uh, talk that people will say, oh, yes. I mean, there, there is a, you can see it on their face. Oh, which hospital uh, are you taking at? KG. Oh, good. good. Because they're, they're saying, if I had the same problem, where would I go? And this person is doing the same thing. 1977, the patient came to me. I met him yesterday. Mm -hmm. This Janmashtami uh, Nityanda, Guru Japan Bhoom, so Krishna Jayanti. So he met me. Dr. Jivi, Rambo sir. 1977, about 45 years ago, he meets me and said, What did I do to you? Sir, I make you white to very bayangar man white to very. I had abdominal pain. I suffered for three weeks. You admitted me in the hospital for three weeks. You gave a special tablet that time, it was not available in India. It was called Tagamet, cement mm -hmm. for ulcer treatment. Usually, when you practical cell, you operate. Gastrectomy, GJ, Begotomy. Right. You did not operate, you sent me home. I'm perfectly all right now. Mm. Bill came to 8,000 rupees. I said, I don't have 8,000. said, give me whatever you can. I gave 3,000 rupees, I went home. Mm. See, those people remember doctors yes. never yes. forgot and say, yes. I may have 1,000 patients, but I'm right. the only doctor for them. They never forget me. So, um, in short, this is a place that uh, if you happen to have any challenges in Coimbatore or in around, don't forget, this is a great place. I'm not saying other hospitals are not good. No, all hospitals are good. They're all good, but my personal experience, and just from talking to Dr. Bhaktivad Salam, he's a Padma Shri awardee, he got his award from Dr. Abdul, Abdul Kalam, right sir? I got a BCD award from Rajiv Gandhi. Oh, Rajiv Gandhi. Padma Shri award from Abdul Kalam. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Siksha Bhushan award from Mount Abu Brahma Kumaris. Oh, wow. That's the biggest award, you know, this yes, is yes. the jewel of India. Right, right. right. award is no good. The patient thinks that you are a good, safe doctor and they touch my feet sometimes. That's yes. the biggest award, sir. Yes. Nobody yes. touches the feet of Trump, say. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's a totally different in India, culture. The country. culture is different. Yes. About yes. Indian culture. Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, I have to tell you about my personal story also. My daughter got married. Uh, the boy is American. And uh, we did everything. The wedding was done in Vedic way. And uh, his grandparents were, uh, you know, well into their 80s. They can't come to the pandal to bless the boy and the girl. So what we had them do was they came down to where they were sitting and they did namaskaram there. Wow. And uh, this is this is what our culture is. And and they were really touched and they followed through all the rituals because we were explaining everything in English. This is what we are doing. Why why are we doing this? Where are they living now? Uh, my my uh, my daughter and my son-in-law live in California, in Silicon okay. Valley. And uh, so they will be coming in uh, December. I'm hoping to see uh, their party because she couldn't go. That was height of no. Corona last year, so we couldn't uh, bring anybody from here. But I think the Sanatana Dharma, which is Hinduism, in the, the correct technical word, is something that can lead this world, can give you the spirituality, the purpose for why we are on this earth. And and you are doing an excellent job, sir. And uh, again. This is something that I'm coming and saying out of my heart. I'm not saying it is to please Dr. Kapitalsalam. And, and sir, thank you so much. Thank you. And in conclusion, if you'd like to say a few words, uh, please feel life, please. Life is to enjoy. So enjoy not at the expense of somebody else. Life is to be very happy. Happiness is not available in the market for a kilogram basis. Happiness is what you generate inside your own mind. There's a song in Tamil. Nattakallai nalu pushpam sattiye sutti vandu monamanakkum moodane nattakallum pesumo nadan ullu irukka yel the stone go around circumambulate throw some flowers do some mantra that god will not talk to you you have god inside and that god can help the people a vaishnava or a human being is one who considers the others problems as his own and does something to relieve at least five percent of the problem he is called a Vaishnava, he is called as a human being. Yes. Be a human being. That's all is the word. Not You are not measured by the Lexus car or Mercedes Benz car. You are done by what have you done to your neighbor? What have you done to your own country? Small bit is enough. You don't have to be Mahatma Gandhi. You don't have to be Sir Isaac Newton. No necessity. Do something to make at least one person happy every day. Yes. Yes. The righteousness. The righteous people, some they have random acts of kindness, no? Random acts of kindness is always etched there, like uh, in, a, in a stone. Yes. It will be remembered forever. All the other things like beauty, the wealth, the property, the name and the fame, 
will all be temporary. What you have to do is do something good to your neighbor. Thank you very much, Dr. Bhaktasalam. Truly inspirational words, and it was a pleasure talking to you, sir. Uh, may God give you the strength. You don't look, by the way, 79. You look much, much, much younger. I always say, I'm 28 with 50 years yes. of experience. Uh, 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 28 with 50 years of experience. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I see the agility with which he is moving about. Yes, so, God will give you a long, long life, sir. Thank you very much, and Namaskar. Hare Krishna.